friends hello everyone welcome back to momo tv it's your favorite girl olubumi and i'm right here at vehicle at cinemas opening at iyano isolo so people at iyano isolo and environs i want you to come out to uh vehicle at cinemas to watch your next movies you know lots of nollywood movies coming out and even international movies hollywood movies are coming out so if you want to watch movies with your uh, loved ones during this festive period you can come to vehicle at cinemas uh, of course it's quite affordable too and the building is very cool you know the pictures are on here like very cool so yeah guys come out and watch your movies and i'll be right back So good to see you. I'm glad to be here. Welcome to Vicola Cinema's opening. So how do you feel about the whole opening? Um, I'm excited. You can see the excitement written all over me. And that's the kind of excitement that I show when I see something meaningful for our environment. Why is it meaningful? Distribution is very important and the optimum growth of the motion picture environment in Nigeria. I say that all the noble possibilities are lost when a producer cannot make money from his films. Making money from your films is very important. Now, how do you make money from your films? People must see the film. People must either buy the film or come to the cinemas to watch the film. How do they come to the cinemas when there are no cinemas? So Victor and his colleagues who put up structures like this should also be supported we need to support people like this so that it can hugely expand distribution optimally so that means you also believe that there should be a cinema in like 60 minutes drive from your house probably no, or not 60 minutes. Like it doesn't have to be 60 minutes you see developing community cinemas is where we must begin to go i mean this this is an idea of a community cinema and now you have this in a solo there are places that they call Ikotun Igbe, uh, there are uh, Ijigbo, and places like that. So cinemas like that need so that people who live in Badagri and see for instance, they don't have to come to Lekki, they don't have to come to VI, they don't have to come to Suri to come and see a film. You can see a film just around you, and that's how that's how the entire environment grows and becomes really great. I, mean, I feel great, you know, um, I remember when Mr. Victor told me that he was going into the cinema business, you know, he actually gave me my first ever professional acting role, so um, I support him in every endeavor, so he has been telling me for over, over a year now, close to two years, that he wanted to have this, and here we are, we got a lot of cinemas, live in action. <laughs> so, so what do you think, the fact that there's fame one, there's, uh, I, I mean, there are lots of cinemas in Lagos already, do you think we call that as a place to stay, I mean? Absolutely, I think um, there's never too many cinemas. You know, who doesn't want a cinema that's close to home? Even me, I, you know, I live in Lekki, but, you know, there's cinemas in Lekki, but, you know, I still have to drive to them. They're still a little bit far. So I think people that live in Isola will be very happy and glad to know that they have their homegrown cinema. How do you think cinemas help uh, Nollywood actors and actresses and producers, of course, you know, everybody? I mean, everyone wants to be on the big screen. Yes, we have YouTube now, we have our phones, but... The big screen is almost everyone's goal, so of course we need more and more cinemas to, you know, show our show our craft to the world. So that, how do you feel about the whole cinemas opening this year? Well, every single cinema opening is an addition to, you know, our cinema culture is always a welcome development. Yes, and I think this is the first around here, which is very strategic. And of course, I, I I know that this is the first of many to come. So, so are you of the motion that uh, at least maybe like 60 minutes drive from your house, you should see a cinema of 60 minutes drive distance? If you ask me, <laughs> every 30 minutes there should be a cinema. 
Okay. But it's not left to me, you know, because um, having one is lots of money and lots of investment. So, but I dream of a day when we will have just Lagos alone, over a thousand cinemas. That's, you know, that's, that's the dream. Okay, moving on from the cinemas, uh, what have you been up to lately? been working you know um yes i just finished the project dr love and um i'm about to start another one y you know 2020 is a word i mean like <laughs> production wise i think i spent the whole of 2020 doing dr love yes but uh, we 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 all know and pray and hope 2021 is better because in as much as 2020 is what it is, creatively, yeah, it was it good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so there are better stories, you know, and uh, obviously most people are going back to work uh, January 2021. Yeah, I'm right here with the hottest director in town, Samuel Alatsunji. Hi, hi. It's always like that. <laughs> I'm at the launch of a Vicolat cinema. Apart from the fact that um, the owner is my friend, I like his ambition, I like his commitment, especially from his days in the production of um, a no budget. But most importantly, I like the fact that he's decided to do a community cinema in a um, community that is well populated like this. And most importantly, in a community that is uh, that been so denied quality entertainment and content in terms of cinema. So I can only wish that Mr. Victor will be able to expand the screen from two to four to five and more more screens as um, as time goes on. This place looks gorgeous. It's it's so so nice to be here. It's nice to be here. Well, um, it's a really great invention, and I am really proud of my brother. Yeah. Oh, is your like blood brothers? Uh, oh, whoa. So uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Has he been saying this to like you know kids? Uh -oh. He just jumped on it and got it done, that's it. Yeah. I'm so blessed, I feel happy. To God be the glory. Does it look like what you've been expecting? Exactly. We've had this in plan for a while now. Oh wow, so you were one of those who planned this whole beautiful project. Mm -hmm. It's actually my husband's project. And it's Woo guys, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I can see where the whole pretty thing come from. <laughs> that's super. You're right. How was it supporting your husband, you know, through all this? Covid came and then he was able to pull out, pull off something like this. How was it? Yeah, it feels great. It feels great to be a part of a huge project like this. Uh, it wasn't easy, I must say, but we bless God. Like I usually say, easier way. That which is starts, it will finish. Yeah, I'm really happy and excited. Uh, the owner of Nicola, that uh, Olag Beggy, happened to be my uh, schoolmate way back in Saint Anthony Secondary oh, wow. School, 97 sets, and I'm so happy that he, he has achieved this. And uh, I wish him all the very best, greater heights, greater achievements in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I feel I feel elated. I feel excited. I feel good. So I mean, I I just met one of your childhood friends, and she said you've never I mean discussed something like this uh, maybe a little back then, and but now you just came with a surprise and bang. I mean, there's a cinema in Lagos from you. So how do you, how does it feel? You know, bringing this up. I mean, you must have been thinking about you for a long time. What brought the idea? You know. Well, I never thought of it for a long time. The thought just came in, in about just about a year a year and few months back that was after i shot the first movie no budget uh, that was what actually inspired me and uh, what i thought of where the actual entertainment why i actually wanted to stay in the entertainment industry i felt i should come to a stability which i know being in a being in a uh, in a cinema business will actually give me that um want, yeah that, that makes sense. Okay, talking about cinema, do you think your cinema um, as a place to stay, you know, co co coming to Lagos, there's a lot of cinemas already, you know, film one and all. Do you think it can be overly, you know, dispersed around, I mean, cinemas? Do you think there can be too many cinemas? Okay, like I tell you, in Nigeria presently, we are actually behind in the era of cinemas, in a theater uh, industry. Uh, if you see uh, in the United States, if you see even in South Africa, you will have over 4,000 cinemas. So 
just in Nigeria, the, as big as Nigeria is, we're talking about just 50 or 60 cinemas. That's we're actually behind. We're actually behind. There's a lot of movies. There's a lot of movies. Nollywood movie is one of the greatest movies doing very great things. So after Hollywood. After, after Hollywood, we talked about Nollywood. And if you look at the environment where I am right now, you realize there's no, there's no, there's no theater around us. There's no theater around us. The, 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 we are going to uh, an era whereby in every every uh, 15 minute walk you take, you should have a cinema. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you should that's have. Like, that's like a mission already. Like every 15 minutes drive, there should be a cinema. Every, yes, like if you look at in the in the Christian world, Redeemed Christian Church of God is like every corner. We should have a place to make you happy, a place you can come in. If you look at a bars, look at the bars, look at the uh, places, they drink beers and every other things. You can walk in, you can count like 10 on the street, on the road. But why are we not talking about in the cinema? Hi people, this is Bimba Thomas aka Nikki Omogetu. You guys keep watching Nano TV. Do not change the dial. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, my name is Francis Omoche. I'm a film producer. This is a shout out to you all. Um, watch Momo TV and particularly patronize Vicolat Cinema. Come and see your Nigerian films. Thank you. We want you all to come out to support us. It's actually a new place and we just got here. So the whole of Isolo and environs, you have to come and support Vicolat Cinemas. We're bringing all the movies down here for you. You really do not have to go that far to enjoy yourself. So it's a comfortable place and you will like it. Just come out and support us. Thank you. And a big shout out to Momo TV. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your support. God bless you. We appreciate you. Hi everyone, my name is Anto and we are here at the grand opening of Vico Lot Cinemas in Isolo. So if you live in the area, this is the cinema for you. And I want to give a shout out to Momo TV. Peace out. Shout out to my wonderful friends doing big things out there. All the CEOs all the directors, uh, all the uh, well-wishers who had actually encouraged me into this, uh, those who never backbite, those who never thought of uh, saying when I first started the project, who never thought of saying uh, what was it doing, those who had supported me and a uh, great shout out to Momo TV. Oh yeah, so we are done officially opening Vicola Cinemas. So people around here, no, Isola and Environs can come out during this festive period to watch movies with their loved ones. So yeah, and I'll be here from tomorrow, so check me out. You know, movies, movies, and movies. So yeah. <laughs>